Today I'm going to be building a headboard. It is going to be awesome because this is the first project that I get to do by myself. I am so excited because usually I have to call on Mondo and be like, Hey Mondo, can you like fix the thing I just broke, please? I know you're really busy, but please. Cool. Today, that's not going to happen. I know how to build it and I'm going to build it right and it's going to be amazing. So. We're going to be building a simple modern headboard that has a little bit of flair. It's going to have a little bit of a three-dimensional element to it where it crops the headboard and so it looks a little bit more fancy than just piles of wood stacked on top of each other like a simple DIY. So this is a little more sophisticated, I guess. A, a tiny bit, like very, very tiny right there. Cool. So are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. So this project requires three two by sixes. I am gonna do three, you can also add a fourth, but I got these from Lowe's, these white wood boards from Lowe's and asked them to cut it down to 80 inches. So I had a two inch buffer for when I cut it. I'm gonna write down 76 inches is the width, but that's only if you want your headboard to be straight behind your bed and not wrap around. When you look at the headboard, the only part that will actually show above the bed will be these three planks, which will equal around 26 inches. Now you're going to add another plank if you are unlike me who has an extremely tall bed, and most of you will, or you cannot and make yours just a little bit shorter. But that will end up being around 36 inches high above your bed. Now you're gonna add two posts. These posts will be perpendicular to the planks that you're using, and they will be two by ones. And then you're gonna add another one to crop it out on the top. So that one will be however wide your project will be. Mine will be 78 inches. So the entire headboard will end up being 58 inches tall. And on the inside, for mine at least, I will have about 32 inches on the inside. If you're not like me and you wanted to go with the fourth plank, you will have a 56 inch height. And then you'll have a, another plank to add. Mine is kind of horribly drawn, but hopefully I will fix it to make it look better and eh, maybe 20 inches will be on the inside though and that's your project so what you'll need is the three two by sixes laid out you'll want to lay out your four two by ones and then I added two pieces on the inside to make it sturdier You'll also need a pocket hole jig system, a pocket hole drill, a pocket hole screwdriver, drill bit, wood glue, wood putty, putty knife, square, clamp, pocket hole screws, a favorite stain, a drill, and a sander. So I'm measuring up my pieces. I'm basically making sure that all my pieces are the same the 78 inches and I'm marking it on my wood with the Sharpie marker. Then you'll want to line it up, make sure it's good with your, your saw. I have a standing miter saw that I use. You can also use a table saw. It doesn't matter. As long as it can cut a straight line, you are good to go. So I'm going to make sure that I line it up and when I'm ready, I'll cut it with my blade. Sweet. So now I'm gonna take my first board. I'm going to drill pocket holes in it. I'm gonna do two sets of three. So I'm gonna make sure on the top I am drilling all the way through and getting a good pocket hole to connect to my top piece. Now I have my two pieces on the ends, the two by ones, I'm gonna make sure they're square. I'm gonna make sure that they are ready to go. So I've already drilled pocket holes on the ends and I'm going to put my screws into those pocket holes to connect. 
So you'll see that I'm putting in the corner and drilling into the top. Now that I have my top done for one side, I'm going to drill pocket holes on the sides of the first blank to make sure that I can connect it to the side and the top pieces that are two by ones. This will help me when I'm ready to actually connect everything. So I just stacked a bunch of wood underneath my plank and then I started drilling into my top piece, not being careful not to drill too far or else I'll have too many pieces poking out. So I'm gonna do that for each hole, make sure it's lined up, make sure it's there. I will also do this for the second plank I'm only gonna do it for the sides. I didn't do pocket holes on the top because there's nothing to connect to on the top. And because this is not so sturdy, I'm gonna make sure that I put wood glue on the end and drill into those with the wood glue so it dries properly. After I've done all the planks, I'm gonna do my sides that connect to the back. So I'm gonna do two sets of three pocket holes into another two by one that is the inside height between the bottom plank to the floor. And then I'm gonna come in and do one pocket hole on the top that will connect to the bottom plank. After that, I'm gonna do wood putty to fill in all my holes and sand it. So it's a whopping two days later. I still haven't finished the headboard. I basically made excuses yesterday and said, oh, I'm too tired to finish this headboard, so I didn't. But at 11 o'clock, I just said, oh my gosh, I would love to make a headboard right now, even though I have to go to work tomorrow. But hey, who needs sleep? So I'm gonna finish the headboard. I'm gonna sand it down. I only need to sand it down on the putty corners, and then I also just need to stain it and finish it. Once I'm done with that, we can finally play Will It Fit? It's a great game where we play and see if I measured everything correctly to the point that I can get it up the stairs. We've run into this issue before where we build something and then it doesn't fit and then we have to take it down and reassemble it. But hopefully I was smart enough to get that measurement down this time and get it upstairs. So we'll see later how well it went. Okay, so my next step is the stain. It's gonna be exciting. Um, but basically I wanted to show you guys what stain I'm gonna use. I really like this brand. It's from Home Depot. Our can's a little grody, so here's a better picture of what the can looks like. It. This is our dark walnut that we use for our shoe racks and this is the one that I'm gonna use for our headboard and that we've used for our bed. So it's American Walnut called Marathane and it applies really well and looks really good. Today is the day! I finished up the headboard last night and I'm gonna put the headboard into the room today. But I have like three obstacles first is, first, can I lift it and by myself? Second, can I get it up the stairs? Which is gonna be a little tough. I think I measured it right, but hopefully it will work. And third, can I move the bed by myself to get back there so I can drill in the screws into the headboard into the bed? So we'll see if I can do it. If not, I'm gonna be calling on Mondo to help me out. Okay guys, so I just got the headboard up here. It took a little bit of wobbling and a little bit of adjustments to do, but I got it up here. I also got the bed off of my bed frame, 
which it's pretty large and a bunch of foam so it's super hard to get off but I did it woo me I'm so excited. It is perfect. It's gorgeous. It's exactly what I wanted. I am just so happy with how it turned out. If you want to attach it, I attached it just by putting it against the wall and then putting my bed frame against the headboard. If you want to attach it though, make it two inches wider so the headboard will be two inches wider so it can wrap around the bed frame and then you can attach it by putting screws in the back of your headboard where that little slit is that connects on the inside. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna like this video, go ahead and like it. If you wanna subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks guys.